Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. In this video we are going to do basically animations using Flamo Motion. I'm going to make a website using Flamo Motion and uh, all the sections in this website will be animated. So you can think this video as a tutorial rather than a full-fledged website tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how can you make these website and obviously you can use these animations in your project uh, if you like them. So I'm going to show you first what we are going to work on and uh, then we are going to start making it. So first when we refresh the page, so first time the animation will play like this. All the images will come from behind and we are going to get this kind of animation. This is a pretty simple and uh, but still a very uh, good animation. So. After that, we are going to have this animation. So this only works one time. So whenever user come to this section, these are going to slide from left to right. And lastly, we are going to have uh, this animation. First, when we scroll down, this kind of 3D effects occur, okay? And the second animation that this component have is when we click on this to see the content of this uh, card this kind of animation happens okay so we are going to see how can we uh, actually implement this kind of animation and also I'm going to show you some variations of this animation so you can understand a little bit better how I made this animation okay so let's close this so this will be a small tutorial on how to use film motion to make these kind of animations okay so without a further ado let's get started so i have an empty uh, project over here and we are going to use next.js and film motion these two things and nothing else okay so let's open the terminal and we are going to write and click create next step And we can write this uh, maybe any mission okay so like this yes 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 and no so now our app is installed now I'm going to install frame motion and okay so first I still need to go to the uh, project directory so CD animation and then npmi frame motion after that let's open this and okay we are going to do some cleaning here remove this and add simple div and in the global.css remove all this now let's start the server and let's See if this is working or not. So local host 3000. Okay, so now this is working. We have an empty project. Now the first component would be our home component. So let's go to the components. Actually, let's make a folder for components. And then we can write home page dot tsx const home page return and and a div okay now for this component we are going to use basic frame motion uh, variant feature so we are going to make some variants and some childs and then we are going to animate this okay so Let's go here. First, make this a client component so that we can use the frame of motion here. Now, after that, we are going to import some things. So, first, I'm going to import React and then I'm going to import use effect and use state. Then, import the lobster font from next font Google. Import motion. from demo motion and lastly we are going to import image okay so 
so these are the things that we are going to use first uh, let's uh, use this font here so for using the font we are going to write it like this so lobster is equals to lobster now we are going to first specify the subset so subset would be latin text and then we are going to specify the weights so weight would be 400 now after that we are going to use this here so for using this right write class name over here and use this syntax then dollar sign and lobster dot class name so if i write something here hello and let's add to the page.tsx uh, home page okay, let's export this export default okay so export default home page home page okay now let's go here and as you can see we now have a lobster font over here so this is working now let's go to the page.tsx or home page.tsx again and after that i'm going to write first the jsx part and then i'm going to uh, animate those things so remove this and we are going to extend the classes here so position would be relative we are going to extend the classes over here so position would be relative height would be h screen and overflow would be hidden after that inside this make one motive give this div a class name of h full flex item center and justify center to make everything in center add the classes flex flex call justify cent item center and justify between text 7xl font semi bold and space y of 8 and z would be 40 now inside this tube we are going to have h1 tag and p tag for uh, this so first would be the h1 tag after this we are going to have a input tag so let's add that tag would be text and inside the placeholder we are going to write search for products and then add a class name so so focus focus outline none outline none and h of 12 focus ring 0 then border of 2 pixels and rounded full max width of 700 pixels focus and border color, color will be rose 500 otherwise the border color will be border rows 300 then make w full px4 text base and placeholder text center okay now let's save and go back here and this is uh, looking something like this okay now we are going to add the images over here so so below this to make one more div give this a class name of absolute top zero left zero and that's it now inside this we are going to have the image tag first we are going to give the src src would be sticker 
dot web p then we are going to have width width will be 150 and height would be 150 and then we are going to add the all text uh, still okay similarly we can add other images as well and let's save this and these are going to be looking like this initially now we are going to uh, add the initial state using the frame motion so we are going to use variant and child method here uh, inside that we are going to use the initial state in which we are going to uh, define where the position of these images will be so this is not the final position of these Im images now we are going to use this variant to define the position of these images and also define the animation so let's go above and here we can uh, define the variants you can define inside the function or outside the function it does not matter okay so first will be the uh, parent variant so we are going to call that uh, variant variant is equals to simple object now we are going to add hidden property and the initial state of this will be opacity zero and when visible so when the animation starts opacity will be zero sorry one and then we are going to define the transition means how the animation will uh, run so first in the duration will be 0.5 seconds and then I'm going to use the stagger child property children property okay so this will add a delay in the children's animation and then we are going to add the type smooth okay I'm going to write the variant for children so this will be called child initially the opacity would be zero and the y value will be uh, 110 so you can use this y or either you can use translate y uh, they both fox in the same way and then we can add this duration will be 0.2 and then close this okay so these two variant will be used for this text animation so let me add this first here so motion dot div then this is the parent div so we are going to use this variant here variant and pass this then we are going to define initial initial would be hidden and then uh, animate and mate would be visible so now let's see how the animation is working i'm not adding the children variation for now just to show you if we only add this how the parent animation will run so this is going to work it like this okay now i'm going to add the children variants here so variant so first add the motion here and then the variant variant would be child so we can just actually copy this and paste here make this a p tag and copy this add motion dot input and variant would be child <coughs> now let's save refresh the page and this is going to be like this okay this is all for the text part and now we are going to work on these images so as you can see here when i scroll up these images goes outside the viewport and for that uh, i'm going to use window property of javascript and also the variant so let's first define the variants here and then i'm going to uh, work on this so let's first define the variants here so we can add const scroll variant 
then hidden in object initially it will be translate x to be minus 300 so this will make sure that uh, this image will be outside the viewport initially then we are going to actually rotate this to uh, 12 degree then opacity would be zero and then add the transition here now duration would be 0 0.5 seconds and type would be smooth now for visible so for the animation part trans we can just copy this okay copy all this so out animation will also have a duration of 0 0.5 so we do not need to change this we only need to change uh, okay so 0 opacity would be 1 this would be 0 as well and also we are going to scale this to 2 now let's go below and test this out motion dot div and variant would be scroll variant one let's add one here and then initial would be hidden and animate would be visible okay so this is going to be looking like this now we are going to add other animation as well so i'm just going to copy the other variants from my github you can do that as well so i have added all the variants here and also added here now let's go here and refresh the page and the animation will look like this change this a little bit 1.5 i think this will do okay yeah now this is looking good now what we next want is when i scroll up these images should uh, go behind this viewport and for that i'm going to use window property of javascript so let's make that state const scroll down set scroll down use state type would be boolean and initial value will be false now next we are going to use the use effect uh, to set these uh, states okay so we can use use effect here now in the dependency array we are going to use an empty array okay now first we are going to make a function for handle scroll inside that we are going to set the scroll set scroll value so if the window dot scroll y scroll y is greater than 20 then we are going to set this to uh, true Okay, now we are going to uh, invoke this function on the event listener so window dot add event listener and the event would be scroll and then we can call this function now lastly we are going to clean up this uh, event listener so we are going to return window dot remove event listener type would be scroll and then pass that function let's go to the here and let's add a div write something and give this class name h of screen so now that we can scroll okay go to the home page and let's console these values 
scroll down go to the dev tools okay so now if i scroll up this is going to be true and when i scroll down this is going to be false so this is working and now based on that we are going to uh, run this animation so we can write like this so if the scroll down is true then we are going to have the hidden and otherwise we are going to have visible now let's save and as you can see this is animating so we can just copy this and paste everywhere so i have replaced all the animate and now this is going to be looking like this okay so now with this we are actually done with the first component next we are going to animate this make the second component so make one more component name uh, maybe section dot tsx just a random name uh, you can choose whatever you want now uh, let's import some things here first make this a client component then import react and uh, then import from for motion and one more thing that we need here is react icons so so go to the project directory and write npm i react icons now we can import that here so import from react icons and after that we are going to import the lobster font so we can just copy this and paste here then this and lastly let's export default this section now we can add this font over here lobster dot class name and with this we have defined the function now let's write the jsx part here okay so apart from this we are going to have w10 by 12 and mx auto and my10 now apart from this we are going to have w full and my10 now let's save and go back here and we should have actually let's go here remove this and add this section so now we so now we have this similarly we can continue adding some more uh, jsx here i'm not going to waste uh, more time on this jsx part we can just go and copy uh, from my github so i'm going to do that so now i have uh, copied this text from my github and uh, paste it here so now as you can see now we have uh, this uh, cards here okay now the main part here is to add the animation and that is what we are going to do here now so similarly like we did here we added the variant here similarly we are going to do here so here we can add const variants curly braces then first hidden opacity would be zero and then nothing okay after that we are going to have visible and inside that we are going to have opacity to 1 then we are going to have the transition now this transition duration will be of 0.5 seconds and stagger children of 0.2 seconds and the uh, animation type will be smooth okay 
So now let's write the variant for child. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Rename this to child and this time with opacity zero, we are going to also have translate x to minus 200. And here we are going to have the translate x to zero. Okay. And the duration would be 0 0.3 seconds. And the type would be queen. Now let's save and we can add the motion here. Here add the motion dot div. Okay, then variant. Variants would be variant and then initial would be hidden. Then while in view, since we want this to animate when uh, we reach to this component, okay. So while in view, then we can have the visible. And also we want that this animation to only uh, run one time. So we can have the viewport once to true. Okay. Now we can add the children's here. So motion.div and add the variant to child. Now we can just copy this. Paste here and here. Now let's save. As you can see, we have a good animation. Okay. So let's refresh this. Okay. So with this, we are done with our second component as well. And we have made the, this animation and this animation as well. Now the last animation is this component contains two type of animation first this 3D type of animation so when we scroll up we get this type of animation and when we click on this to see the content of this card we get this okay so now we are going to work on this so inside the component make one more file name you can say card dot tsx you can just write ts rfc to generate this boilerplate and now after that uh, let's import some things here so first i'm going to import uh, the use effect use state and use ref okay and after that, let's make this a client component first. Then import the image. Now in this component, to make this uh, animation, I'm going to use two uh, method here. First would be use scroll. And the second would be use animate. So I'm going to use these two functions here, okay? So let's import that as well. So I'm going to import use scroll, use animate. Apart from that, I'm going to import motion and then use transform to transform the values of uh, use scroll. Okay. So we are going to need these four imports here. Now after that, uh, let's first define the JSX part here. Now let's save and go back to the page of TSX and add the card here. Save and go to our server. And this is our card. So now after that, let's add the CSS here for these classes, pushable, shadow and edge. So I'm going to copy that from my GitHub as well and paste it here. So you can read this CSS and uh, this is not very difficult so this is just to actually make something like this okay now as you can see 
when we hover this gives us a, a 3d effect with this shadow okay after that i'm going to actually add the animation part when we click on this card okay so for that okay but before that let's add the content of this card so when we click on this we will be able to see this content so i have added the content as well which you can copy from uh, my github and now you will see it's something like this okay so now we are going to animate this and for that i'm going to use these two uh, methods from frame motion first i'm going to actually make the animation look like this so when we scroll down this actually rotates okay on our uh, scrolling for that i'm going to make a ref here so we can write const carousel ref is equals to use ref and the type would be html div element and initial value will be null now after that we are going to use use scroll here so actually we can write it like this and we are going to also add offset here so offset we uh, tell you about the offset here so offset generally tells you about when we are going to start the animation and when it is going to end so it has two things first the target which in this case is this whole do part and the second is the container which in this case is this whole viewport okay is the container and when these two have some kind of interaction then this animation is going to start now what kind of interaction is going to have is specified by these values so let me actually give this a border okay so now let's go here and now we have a border here now let's save and now as you can see we can see our component clearly okay now the interaction between this uh, component and this whole viewport is going to tell us uh, how the animation will start and end now we have offset here and we have defined some values now here the start and the first value of these two uh, strings is for the target which in this case are component and the second value is for the uh, container which in this case is whole viewport so now the first string is start and end that means the start of our uh, component which means this line so this will be the start of our component and the end will be the end of our viewport or container so the end of our viewport is this part and the start of our component is this part so when these two meet then we are going to start the animation okay so now they have made here and here the animation will start after that we have end and start so when the end of our component so when this part actually meets with the start of our viewport which means this then we are going to end the animation let me show you what i'm talking about so now we have a scroll uh, wipe propesh here and first we are going to transform this value uh, to css property using the use transform from frame of motion so we can write const uh, rotate y is equals to use transform and this will first take the y progress scroll y progress and then based on the value of scroll y progress it is going to give uh, us the value of rotate x or rotate y so if the value of scroll progress is zero then we are going to have the value of rotate y of minus 45 degree and if it is 1 then we are going to have 45 degree similarly we are going to have rotate x 
and now I'm going to add it here. So the ref would be here. So ref is equals to carousel f. And now let's use the CSS here. So inside this div, which is our card, so add a style here, perspective of 300, and then rotate Y and rotate X, and first make this a motion dot div. Okay, so rotate Y and rotate X. And now let's save and go back to our browser. Let me actually uh, comment this out so that we can see. So now, as you can see, when I scroll down, I get this animation. And this starts when this border meets with this end of uh, our viewport okay so it start with minus 45 degree and end at 45 degree but since we do not go any further below uh, this is right now zero degree okay so this is how it is working and now let's remove this and now we are going to add this animation okay so for that we are going to use use animate here so if we go to the documentation and then use animate first we need to have a state okay so this is actually a ref which we can use it here ref is equals to scope okay right like this and now we are going to use this animate here now using this we want that when we click on this card the animation start so we need to add a boolean here which tell us that the animation has start and using that we can use this scope so let's make that boolean here const show set show so this will be the state that we are going to use here. So this state initially will be false, but when we click on this, so when we click on this card, we can make set show to reverse the value. Okay and based on that we are going to use this so now we are going to use use effect here and in the dependency array we are going to add the show here and now if the show is true then we are going to animate and inside the animate first we are going to get the current value of this ref and then we can add the properties here so translate translate x would be of minus 400 pixels then perspective will be of 400 rotate x will be of 10 degree and rotate y will be of 20 degree then add the transition here transition of is in out is in out and then we can add the duration here so duration of 0 0.5 seconds now if the show value is false so else if if the value is false then we are going to add different animation so we are going to change this to 0 pixels perspective would be 0 rotate would be 0 and rotate y would be 0 and then transition and everything would be same okay let's save this and actually this is still not going to work actually as you can see this is working but 
not the way we want it so now we are going to go below and we are going to add the motion here and after that give here a space and add a ternary operator here so so if the show is true then we are going to show our uh, data here so visible and visible and z index of 30 otherwise we are going to make this invisible and z index of minus 20 now let's save and now let's save and let's see if this is working or not so when i click on this actually this is showing but this is not going here to the left side and same is with this one, okay so let's see what we have missed out so first when show is true then we are going to have this otherwise null okay after that add the transition here of duration of 200 milliseconds and is value will be easy in out okay after that let's see if we have done something wrong here so translate yeah translate of x of minus 400 and i think this was the problem here now let's save again okay so the animation is happening but one thing as you can see here this is a little bit tilted okay but we want this to be uh, horizontal so we need to make one more change here we are going to add some css as well opacity of zero then translate x of minus 500 and z index of minus 300 okay now let's save and let's see okay so still nothing changes so we continue with this so when animate so we are going to add the animate and if the show value is true then we are going to show this otherwise this now here we can add perspective of 400 and then we are going to add rotate x of minus 10 let's remove one comma then we are going to add rotate y of 20 then translate x of 100 sorry minus 100 and translate y of minus 50 and z index of 10 and opacity would be 1 now let's save and let's see uh, how this is working now so as you can see now uh, this is going to be like this we can add a transition here so let's add a transition like this okay now let's see now as you can see this animation and this animation is a little bit different so to make like this so to make the animation like this we can add one more thing here so we can just copy this and now we can make the opacity zero perspective zero and everything zero so it x would be zero y would be zero this would be zero as well zero and zero now let's save and now if i click on this you can see now the animation here and here is same we can change this to one second and now the animation will be a little bit slower okay so you can actually play with these values uh, to your desired animation 
but yeah with this we are done with this tutorial where we made three kind of animation first would be this then this and lastly this okay so i think we have one problem this should not be actually tilted so yeah here it should be if the show is false then we are going to have the scope else on the graph refresh and now we have no problem so with that we are done with all three animations here but actually with this we are done with our tutorial if you like the video then do subscribe to our channel and bye